Hello students, in previous lecture we saw the DAC interface. So by using DAC we generate a continuous time wave. Okay, now in this lecture we will see how sawtooth wave and how triangular wave is are generated by using DAC. So here this is the interfacing diagram of a DAC. So we know that DAC, DAC means a digital to analog converter. That means it receives the digital data and this digital data is converted into a analog data. Okay. So in first, uh, in, uh, in first lecture we saw how DAC uh, generate a sine wave. So now in this, uh, in this lecture we start with sawtooth wave. Okay. So how we generate sawtooth wave using DAC. So first of all, before going to see program for sawtooth wave, first of all we see what is the sawtooth. So this this wave is a uh, is a called as a sawtooth wave. So this wave is a sawtooth wave. And if you look at this wave carefully, then it look like it is a right angle triangle. It is a look like it is an right angle triangle. Okay, and its value is a changes from here at this point. The value is zero. So, it is uh, it continuously increases 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, at this peak, at this peak, uh, peak the value of angle is 256. At this peak, the value is 256 starting from this point, starting from this position. At this position, the value, the value is 0. The value of angle is 0. Then, it increases 30, 40, 60, 90 and at the peak, at, at the peak, it become 256 okay so this is the sawtooth way now we we'll, now we will see the program for sawtooth way now here we generate a sawtooth way at dac okay so first is hash include rage 51.h so hash include rage 51.h this is the header file of 8051 microcontroller then next is main function void main void so here we write a main function now, in within the main function, here we mention the while one loop, while one. So here, why we take while one? Because we have to continuously generate a sawtooth wave. Because we want to generate sawtooth wave continuously manner, in continuous manner. So for in continuous manner, here we write a while loop. Okay. Here we take one variable, which is int i, and the type of this variable is integer. Here we define integer i. Now, here, here we take the uh, for loop, i is equal to 0, i less than equal to 255 and i plus plus. Now, how, why here we take i is equal to, i is less than or equal to 255. Now, here, this is a sawtooth way and once, uh, just before I explain, the value of this position, the value of this position is 0. So this value is continuously increases and at this peak, at this peak, the value of angle is 250. The value of angle is 250, uh, 256. Okay. So the value of is continuously increasing. So therefore, here we write for loop for i is equal to 0 and i less than equal to 255. So when we give a fog loop, when we give a fog loop, so DAC generate 0 to 255 wave. DAC generate the wave from 0 angle to 255. Okay. And once it reach at the 255 steps, when it reach at the 255, then it suddenly come to 0. Then it suddenly come to 0 here. 255 i plus plus and then this i is given to a port p1 of 8051 microcontroller okay so when it reach at 255 255 position then it suddenly goes to zero position its original position and from here it again increases from zero to 255 and once it reach to 255 it again comes to its original position which is zero and from this position is again <coughs> increases from 255 and once it reach at 255 position it comes to 0 and again it start uh, start from 0 position and comes to 255 so this process is continuously repeated why because here we mention a while loop okay and then this was 
R is given to a port P1 of 8051 microcontroller. So at P1, this sawtooth wave is continuously generated. It starts from its zero position, then it continuously increases. When it reaches 255, then it comes to zero. Then it comes to zero. And from this zero position, it again increases from 255. And again, it comes to zero. This process is continuously repeated. Okay. So in this way, we can generate a sawtooth wave using DAC. Okay. Now, the next waveform is triangular waveform. Next waveform is triangular waveform. So, for triangular waveform, here, this is the triangular waveform. Okay. So, the program for triangular wave and sawtooth wave is similar. Okay. So, only difference is that here, here in sawtooth wave, the value is changes, for the value is increases from 0 to 255 and at 255 it suddenly goes to 0 but in triangular wave the value is a start from 0 and increases from 255 and once it reaches to 255 position it slowly decreases it slowly come to 0 position it slowly come to 0 0th position so here this is the program for generating triangular wave hash include rage 51.h so this is the header file of 8051 microcontroller void main void here we take another integer integer i and here we mention a for loop here we mention a for loop so for for loop i is equal to 0 i is less than is equal to 255 and i plus plus so this for loop is for this increasing wave this for loop is use for this increasing wave so here i is starting from the initial value of i is 0 and it increases and its limit is 255 so that means here starting from this position 0 then it comes to 1 2 3 and 255 position okay here 255 position then this value given to a this value given to a port 1 of 8051 microcontroller okay then here one more for loop is defined the value of this for loop is i is equal to 254 greater than less i is greater than 0 and i is incremented i is decremented so now here when at this position 255 so when it reach the 255 position it it is it slowly decreases from 255 to 0 so for this wave so for this wave we write this for loop because at this position the value is 255 so controller start from this zero position dac start from this zero position and they reach to 255 by using this for loop and for then it continuously then it slowly decreases from 255 to 0 so from this conversion from this 255 to 0 we use this for loop 254 greater than i is greater than 0 and i is decremented so here the value of i is decremented because the value is from value which changes from 255 to 0 so i is decremented okay then this value is given to a port 1 of 8051 microcontroller. So in this way DAC generates triangular wave by using this for loop and then this value is given to port 1. Then at port 1 this wave is generated and when we give this for loop for decreasing from 255 to 0 then when this value is given to P1 then this wave is generated so in this way triangular wave is generated by using 8051 microcontroller okay so here we saw three programs for generating sine wave for generating sawtooth wave and for generating triangular wave so by using DAC by using DAC DAC means digital to analog converter. So by using DAC, we can generate any waveform, sine wave, uh, continuous sine waveform, triangular waveform, sawtooth waveform, and the square wave waveform. Okay. So this is the DAC interface. Okay. So now we will stop here. In next lecture, this uh, in next lecture, we start with our, our next practical. Okay, now we will stop here.